hello my little corn balls and today i'm just gonna show you how i dye my hair to this kind of reddish maroon color now to start off i just start off with my blonde hair i dyed it a while ago and my tips kind of grew out and i just wanted a nice cop pop of color before the blonde goes away so i'm using a door in violet gem 114 it's the only color that i had in my house and i didn't really like it that much but i'm going to show you what i did to kind of change it now i put my hair into just some four pom-poms this is gonna help since i only have the ends that are blonde and the rest of it is black and i kind of don't feel like detangling all of that hair when i could just detangle the ends so there is my four two in the back and the two in the front now i started off on just a paper plate and i poured some of the color in and now this is how i kind of changed the color by adding in some conditioner the conditioner i use is tresemme's flawless curl conditioner curl hydration and i use about 18 squirt after i mixed it in i kind of didn't really like the color that much i wanted it to be a little bit lighter so i actually went in and added more of the dye just to kind of get some more of a lighter purple so i just detangled my hair and i'm gonna start off with the back two puffs now this is the first one that I'm going to start off with and I just started to apply the dye with the fork that I used to mix it in. And actually it came in handy because I started to use it to just rake the product in. I do not know why everybody doesn't do this like hello. It works so great to just pass all the product through. On the bottle, it actually says you're supposed to apply the dye on freshly clean hair. And I actually did the complete opposite and applied it onto freshly dirty hair. But I think it worked out pretty well. And this is how it looks after I put the dye in. I seriously, as I said, I look like I killed like Barney. And this is his purple blood. Now I finally got some gloves because it really did stain my hand. So what I'm going to do is just detangle the next back puff and make sure that it's good that I can easily run my fingers through it. And I just started applying it with my fingers. This was kind of the best way for me. Like dead ass? What's the point of even wearing gloves? Like why? Ugh, coating? Even if I don't. <gasps> the dye fell everywhere. Like, look what happened to my bathtub. I actually scooped up the majority of it. But it also fell on my foot. <laughs> now I'm doing the same thing with the second one on the front. And I'm raking it through, separating it, and then raking it through. This is the best way to get it all over your hair. And whatever's left in your plate, just apply it to your whole head until everything is covered in the color. If you didn't notice, look at the back. Like, I missed a whole section. But it actually turned out kind of nice because after it washed out, it looked kind of like an ombre. this is my hair all done all four now i'm gonna put on a plastic cap and then i'm going to leave it for a whole hour and 15 minutes now this is the time that you're gonna want to use if you're like me and you don't want to use heat with a door you're supposed to use heat for 15 minutes and that's all but i was not down for the heat especially in the winter months it's just not good for your hair so i just took off the shower cap and i just started rinsing out my hair and this is the result that it gave me it came out a different color than what i expected but 
I actually like it. So my hair is a little dirty at the moment. So I'm just going to wash my scalp out and then I'm going to style it and take it out and show you guys how it looks. And this is the result. I, as I said before, did not expect this color. I was hoping for more of like a pinkish kind of purple color, but it came out more just straight maroon. And I actually really love it. Now, this is a twist out that I did. So if you guys want to see a twist out tutorial, I can definitely give that to you guys. And I hope you guys love my hair as much as I do. Please like and subscribe down below. I post a video every single Sunday and I'll see you guys next time. Bye my little cornballs.